Hello everyone and welcome back to Notes Naka. In this video, we are going to talk about frequency domain filtering and what type of noise does that uh, remove. So, we have something known as peri periodic noise. It is the noise of electrical and electromagnetic interference. So, frequency domain techniques are used to remove such periodic noise that are injected by electrical and electromagnetic interference. So, uh, we can use all of the frequency domain techniques, but here we, we are uh, talking about band reject filters. So, what band reject filter means, it removes the band of frequency about the origin of Fourier transform. So, we have a Fourier transform, it removes the band of frequency about it. So, sinusoidal noise may be reduced by filtering the band of frequencies upon which bright spots associated with period noise appear. So this is what band reject filter is used for and we have another type of filter as well which is known as adaptive filters. So the behavior of adaptive filters changes depending on the characteristics of image inside the filter region. Till, then, till now what we were talking about we were taking the entire image and we were trying to filter it all. We were not really considering which of the part needs filtering and which does not. But adaptive filter takes in care of that and it only uh, filters the reasons that are required. And uh, so adaptive filters basically when it uh, travels in the, in the entire image, it will first uh, see what type of filtering does that part need and it changes its behavior accordingly. One of the ways of doing adaptive filter is adaptive mean filter and what it does is it removes impulse noise, it provides, provides smoothing of other noise and it reduces distortion. So this is one of a very good filtering that we can do when we need to restore our image. So this was all about filtering, noise removal and image restoration. I hope you had, have a clear understanding of, of all of this right now and if you really need to learn deeply about any of these topics then please refer the NPTEL lectures because they are really teach you in depth. This was just an overview of everything. I hope you liked the video. Please do share it with your friends who might need it during DIP exams or in general. And I will see you again in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.